bottle of red wine and two seriously awesome Spanish drinks. That's right, you know I have the party season on my mind. So today I'm going to make my classic red wine sangria and the other is a Tinto de Verano. I think I've got the pronunciation right, I'm not too sure. Leave a comment and let me know but we don't care as long as these drinks taste awesome, right? Okay, so I'm going to start with the sangria. And this is red wine. Now, ideally when I make this, I just like to let the fruit soak in this wine overnight. But sometimes I don't always have that kind of luxury of time, so I just give it like a few hours. But it's really important to let these fruits soak in the wine so that the flavours really come together. And I'm using fresh fruits that are in season right now. So these are some chopped up apples. And the best thing about sangria is that you can adapt it to whatever season and whatever seasonal fruits are available around you. Apples and oranges are in season now, so that's what I'm going to use today. Just a few slices of oranges. And add maybe some more apples to this. And with this slice of orange, I'll just juice it in. So I just get a little hint of orange juice more than just the slices. There you go. Just. And at this point, I really like to add some icing sugar, but you should just do this according to taste because it depends entirely on the wine that you've got and how sweet the fruits are. So just a dash of icing sugar, not too much. Maybe just a little bit more icing sugar. And what I really like to add to the sangria is one shot of some dark rum. And of course, if you're in India, old monk is absolutely fine. Now, of course, ideally, you leave this covered in your refrigerator overnight. But if you're in a hurry, what you should just do is that at this point, just add some chilled club soda. I'm just going to sneak in a taste. Oh wow. Oh, that's perfect. That's so boozy. I love it this way. But if you like, you can add some more club soda to this. So I'm just going to serve this up now. So that's the sangria, but we're not done yet. I promised you a second drink and that's coming right up. Now, Tinto de Verano is hardly a recipe. You see this, I've got some ice in here and all I'm going to do is pour the red wine. And now just pour in your favourite fizzy lemon drink. So ideally you want this to be equal proportions but even if you want this slightly sweeter and add a little bit more of the lemonade, that's fine. That's totally fine. That's your drink. That's the way you like it. But this is how I like it. I'm just going to add some lemon wedges. Just drop these in here for now. I'll stir them in in a bit. So cheers everyone, I'm pretty sure you don't want me to talk anymore and we just want to get on with our party now, right? So subscribe to my channel and come back here for more recipes and happy partying. See ya!